Uh, we're in the Anthem Brewing Company. In downtown, well, sort of. In uh, off of 4th Street and in between Western and, uh, what is that, Classen? Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's got to be Classen. So here's the we're Anthem. Doing Southwest 4th Street. Southwest 4th Street. And there's, oh, you see the kegs back there. Or like the wood, the wood uh, casks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they've got an Energy FC. Oh, wow, that is so cool. I'm Patrick Lively. I'm the president of Brewmaster. That's amazing. Um, is this a new space for you guys, or? We've been in the space since January of 2014. And, and when did you open up, exactly? We opened up in uh, the fall of 2012. Okay. And we were brewing out of a facility that eventually was hit by a tornado. But I heard about in that. In the spring of 2013. Can you tell me a little bit about that event? Uh, yeah, so it was a May 9th tornado, I think. One that was tracking towards downtown, and then basically, hit our brewery, which was at Sheridan and Western, and then turned south. Wow. Uh, Did everybody so, come out of that okay? Yeah, there was no one in the building. It was about Good. It was like 8 o'clock at night, 8 or 9 o'clock at night. So is, in, is, is any, of this, uh, any of this equipment, is that from that? None of the equipment in here is from that. We bought all this stuff new to us. Okay. What is that? That's our brew house. So a 50 barrel brew house came out of a brew pub that closed down in Chicago. No shit. So, uh, and then we have a fermentation farm over there, packaging. Yeah, so we do four year round beers. Uh, we have Golden One, which is our Belgian blonde, Argena, which is our Belgian bit, which we brew with chamomile, coriander, and orange peel. We have IPA, which is our India Paleo, it's a hoppy beer. Uh, and then we have Ouroboros, which is our stout. Uh, okay, so how did you come up with your recipes? That was a lot of trial and error. What made you decide to go into this business? I guess it was just sort of, I got lucky, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if I ever decided. I just was, a home brewer was my hobby, and then I had the opportunity to sort of turn my hobby into a profession. Well, it seems like people, I mean, I personally love your beer. Um, is that what, what happened? Your friends were drinking your beer and they liked it? Or? I don't think so, yeah. I mean, you know, you can, it's always hard to tell with your friends, you right. know, they're like, they say they like it, whether or not they like it, they actually do or not. Well, beer's beer, right? Yeah. They'll just they'll drink your beer. Sure, <laughs> but there's obviously just a lot of trial and error that goes into it. Where do you bring your beer? Your project. What's that? Where do you bring your beer now? Uh, so all our beers in the state of Oklahoma right now. Okay. So. Are you working on expanding? We are. We're, we're currently, uh, you know, exploring the option of sending some beer out of state. Are you going to be switching out? different beers, uh, developing new ones? I mean, we're always kind of developing new ones. Uh, I think, you know, those four year-round beers are going to be pretty consistent okay. uh, from here on out. But, uh, you know, we've obviously got our barrel aging program here, uh, which is an opportunity to add new products to the market and to do some fun, different stuff. Why this area, and, and what do you think about the area? Uh, I mean, we love the area. Uh, I mean, partially this area because, you know, it's close to downtown. We want to be a part of the community. Being a part of the community, you got to be in the community. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, we just were lucky enough to find this building and, and get a set up shop here. Do you do tours? We do tours right now every other Saturday. So, uh, what about check your... our Facebook or Twitter. Yeah, so you can find us on Facebook or at uh, Anthem Brewing Company, and Twitter at Anthem Brewing, Instagram. At Anthem Brewing. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, have you guys received any awards or anything? We like did. That? We just won an award in Nevada, actually, in August at uh, CanFest. And so we won an award for Golden One, and then uh, we won a Best of Show award there as well. Ah, that's incredible. Yeah. Uh, what are people saying to you about your beer? I mean, it seems like people really like it, you know, which is awesome. Uh, how do you how did you come up with your designs? Your, your labels are unique. I, I love the, you We've know. we had some local artists work on the artwork and then uh, a couple of different graphic designers that have done the layout. Is there anybody, I mean, do you want to talk a little bit about the people that work for you? Do you want to mention anybody? I got six guys here that <laughs> work for me. Uh, they work real hard, you know, put a lot of time and effort in. Yeah. So, uh, we're, we're excited to be growing and having the opportunity to, to employ people and fun. Uh, enjoyable work atmosphere. Yeah. What, what do you hope happens to this area? I hope it continues to grow. You know, maybe we get a little less industrial and a little more uh, cultural based. And, you know. Do you want to? Do you want to see like bars? Do you want to see? 
I think I just like to see people coming down here and enjoying this part of town. You know, whatever that is that drives them down here, it's fine by me. Yeah. Um, what did you do before you did this? <clears throat> um, I worked in professional politics for really? four years, and then I was a middle school teacher for a year. Really? Uh, and then I've been brewing professionally now for almost six years. So. Is there any any chance of going back to politics or anything? Probably not. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. Who's this? That's Teddy. Is that your security detail? Yeah. Yeah, he's a brewery dog. <laughs> Does he drink the beer? Uh, we'll try to keep him from doing it. <laughs> it's a lightweight. He drinks a little bit. He'll be stumbling all over the place. <laughs> for some of the for some of the people at home, can you briefly describe the process of making beer? Yeah. So you know, there's four main ingredients in beer: malted barley, hops, water, and yeast. Um, so we start with the malt barley and we mix it uh, with about 170 degree water. Wow. Uh, we're looking for an ideal mix temperature of about 152 degrees. Um, from there, um, you know, through our vessels we're able to pull that water off, uh, which is now turned color because of the color of the grain has also absorbed some sugars from the grain. Yeah. Uh, and we've transferred into our kettle where we will boil it. 60 or 90 minutes, that's when we're going to add our hops, maybe add any other uh, ingredients uh, that are going into it. Uh, and then uh, once that's done, uh, we put it in one of our fermenting vessels at about 72 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and that's where we introduce the yeast, and the yeast heats on those sugars and creates the alcohol. Uh, once that's done, we uh, carbonate it and pack it. Is there any chance we can give that a try? Absolutely. That is so good. It's got a little grapefruit taste to it, which grapefruit? makes IPAs a lot easier for me to drink. Uh, 140 barrels of Big Lake right now. 140? 140, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, the brew house, our 15 barrel brew house, is like 465 gallons at a time we're brewing. Wow. That's incredible. So, Most days we brew, we brew twice, so we're looking at about 930 gallons. That's uh, twice a day? day. Yeah. What? So. That's incredible. Does, does it move? It moves through different chambers, or do you have to manually, yeah, like. So, let me come back here on With our mill. Yeah. Um, we'll mill uh, it's about uh, 1,000 pounds of grain per batch. Uh, and uh, there's a flex auger that carries it over to the brew floor. Oh, wow. That's what that shaft thing is? That's what that white pipe is, yeah. Wow, that's incredible. So, um, we hand load all the, all the grain. So, it's about 20, ba 20, 50 pound bags of grain. Wow. It's a good workout. Yeah. So, we follow that pipe. Grain comes down and rests in that, that upper tank there. It's all good taste. And then from there, we'll drop down to the best on the right, which is our mash tun. And we'll mix it with that 170 degree water. Wow. And then from there, over here is our brew kettle. That's where we'll boil it. Uh, and once it's done boiling on this side, we have a heat exchanger that allows us to take that boiling liquid and bring it down very quickly down to about 72 degrees. Oh, wow. Fermentation farm is our fermenting vessel. Uh, so the, the beer will sit here uh, anywhere from 7 to 14 days, depending on the beer. Yeah. This is our centrifuge. I think right now we're the only brewery in Oklahoma currently operating a centrifuge. Really? It helps us uh, clear the beer up. Also, it sort of helps us uh, make up some loss that we are having before. Oh, okay. So we have our keg washer there. So that's got to be controlled by a, a super sensitive computer. Is that what that tower is right there? Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Okay. It spins like 8,600 RPMs, I think. Holy crap. That's yeah. amazing. So, yeah, we couldn't make beer clear with it. I think also, if we had uranium, we could enrich it. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so, this is our packaging line. We'll put a pallet in some cans in here. Raises it up. It's got an arm that pushes cans off layer by layer. Down this conveyor, they get flipped upside down, they get rinsed, they get flipped right side up. Uh, they go through, they get purged with CO2, then they get filled, they pick up a lid, the lid gets steamed, and they go into that conveyor and go down that machine, which supplies the four pack topper. Uh, and so we have got out of hand and take and finish four packs and putting them in. Wow. And 
and then it goes into this back room where it's all ready to get shipped out. Um, where we have, yeah, uh, finished product ready to go out the door. Plus we keep all our raw goods here, uh, including an ass load of empty cans. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Do you feel like this is enough, or are you gonna expand out? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see where the, the future takes us. And yeah. I think uh, eventually we may move storage offsite and put more brewing equipment in here. Um, but our goal, hopefully, is to never leave this space. So right. We'll see. Can I'm I get it? That you guys are gonna be around for a long time. Yeah. Your beer is really good. Thank you. So, can you tell me where people can find your beer? Yeah. So right now, uh, you can find most of our products in liquor stores. And that's like bars and restaurants. Uh, if your liquor store doesn't carry it, they can't have it. They have access to it, so if you ask them to order it, they will get it for you. Well, your beer is amazing, Thank and you. I just wanted to oh, oh, gonna put that down. You, uh, and shake your hand. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Pleasure. Thanks for having us out.